What's up YouTube, this is Daniel and I'm back with my next video and in this video, I'll be sharing about the 125% and the 150% energy strategy on Stepan. So let's jump right in. As this video will be all about energy, do check out my beginner's guide if you're not familiar about what energy is in the step N ecosystem. On the step N app, energy replenishes itself by 25% every 6 hours. And in my time zone, it replenishes at 9am, 3pm, 9pm and 3am. And if you're like me and you have like a regular day job, you'll find it hard to exercise as and when you like. And so the most likely time of the day that you can exercise is likely to be before work and after work. And for my schedule, I try to squeeze in a morning exercise if possible, somewhere between 7 to 8.30 or I'll choose to have an evening exercise somewhere between 6 to 7.30. How the energy works is that as you approach the timestamp, you'll be earning the energy that you have earned for the past 6 hours. And so as I approach 3pm, I'll be earning the energy from 9am to 3pm. And with that, we are ready to check out the 125% energy strategy. The 125% energy strategy will allow you to spend 125% of your energy and you'll be able to earn that amount of energy in GST as well. And so using myself as an example, I normally have only 4 energy and my normal exercise duration is 40 minutes. And a quarter of that is 1 energy and that will translate to 5 minutes of exercise. In the 125% energy strategy, I'll be burning 125% of my energy in one exercise and that will translate to 5 energy or 25 minutes of exercise. You might ask, hey Daniel, how do I go about doing this? The strategy that I used is as such. And so for example, I will start my exercise at 8.50am knowing that the next timestamp of the 6 hour mark will come at 9am. And so by 9am, I will have spent 2 energy. That will leave me with 2 energy left. And once I cross 9am, I'll earn one more additional energy, which is 25% of my max total. And that will put me at a current total of 3 energies. And thereafter, I'll continue to spend those current 3 energies that I have, putting the total to 5 energy. There are a few main points to note. The first point is that you need to have a minimum of 0.2 energy so that you are able to get the additional 25% energy added to your activity. And the next point to note is that you need to spend 25% of your max energy so that you'll be able to get 25% more after the 6 hour mark. I personally did try this strategy and I think it works. Before we get into the next part, if you found value in this video, do consider liking and subscribing so that YouTube will share this video with other people and so that more people can come and join the Step N app and more people can be healthy and earn even while exercising. So let's continue. And so for the next part, I'll be talking about the 150% energy strategy. And I personally have not tried this strategy for myself. And in this strategy, like it says, your objective is to get and spend 150% of your total energy. And what you need to do is first do and complete the 125% energy strategy. And after getting that 125% energy, in the last block, you want to continuously exercise and prolong the activity until the next 6 hour block has finished. So in my example, if I started my 125% energy strategy at 8.50, by about 9.10, I'll have completed my 125% energy strategy. But what I want to do is actually to prolong this period all the way for 6 hours so that I'll be able to add on the next 25% energy to this activity, which is after 3 p.m. And so in this strategy, you'll see that it will take a minimum of 6 hours and what you need to do is to conduct 2 minutes of micro exercise that will cost you about 0.2 energy and after that you'll need to pause for about 25 minutes and you need to repeat this cycle for about 15 times or until the 6 hour period has reached. Do note you need to have a minimum of 6 energy for the 6 hours between the 125% strategy and the 150% strategy. 
This is because you'll see that every cycle is about 27 minutes and you need about 15 cycles. And so within 15 cycles, you actually burn through about 6 energy and therefore that is the 6 energy that you need to have at minimum for this strategy. Would I recommend you to try this strategy? Absolutely not. I don't think it's worth it to get 25% extra energy for the 6 hours of micro exercise that you need to do. You need to be outdoors for 6 hours running with the GPS on and tracking your exercise. I don't think that's feasible for anybody to try. But there are people who tried this and they did say that it works. And you may ask me, hey, why should I be interested in trying out any of these energy strategies? So here are a few reasons why I think you should go and try out the 125% energy strategy. Don't try the 150% energy strategy. I don't think that's really feasible. The first reason is that it could be a strategy for you to work around your schedule. Many of us have day jobs and we have many other activities to do during the day and perhaps we are unable to shift these things around to accommodate our earning schedule on step end. And so perhaps you will find yourself in a situation where on the next day you will not have enough time to exercise and to clock in the outdoor activity for step end. And in such a scenario, you might want to maximize the earning today and minimize the loss in earnings for tomorrow. So for example, for me, I will do the 125% challenge on Saturday mornings so that I don't need to squeeze out extra time on Sunday mornings to clock in the exercise right before I get to church. And so in this way, you'll be able to maximize your potential GST earnings over the period of time. The next reason is that perhaps you want to have a final push to earn as much GST to meet certain deadlines for certain events. So for example, if the deadline ends today, I might want to consider doing a 125% challenge so that I can earn more GST to spend during the event. And do take note that Stepman has announced that there will be one or two events in the month of April and perhaps some of these events will use GST. And so do keep an eye out for them and that during those periods, you might want to consider deploying the 125% energy strategy. And finally, you might want to consider doing the 125% energy strategy to maximize your gem drop rates. Here I have a chart pieced together by some members of the Step N community where they have collected data on the mystery box drop rates for different shoes shoe attributes, energy spent, and rarity of mystery box drop. This data is not totally accurate and I do think that the information will be more refined as more people use the Stepman app and more data is being collected. But as of now, you can see at the bottom left corner that there is a whole section where there is no mystery box drop. And in this section, it does suggest that there will be no mystery box drop for any luck that is less than 71 and energy spent less than 4. And so if your sneaker has less than 71 luck and you spend less than 4 energy for each activity, it is highly unlikely that you'll get a mystery box from that activity. And so for this purpose, some of you might want to do the 125 percent energy strategy so that you can spend five energy in one activity and that will actually increase the chances of a mystery box drop and if you continue to observe the chart with the more luck you have the higher chances of dropping a mystery box of better quality and similarly the more energy that you spend the higher chances of dropping a mystery box of better quality and as such everybody at every level would and might consider deploying the 125% energy strategy to increase the rarity of their mystery box drop rate. The mystery box quality will affect the chance of getting a gem of a higher level. And gems of higher levels are quite expensive currently because they are pretty hard to get. If you're familiar with this, there is actually a gem crafting mechanic in the game whereby you need to put three gems together to craft a gem of higher level. And actually, there is a significant failure rate for gems of quite a low level. But more about gems in a later video. Do subscribe to my channel to be notified of when that video drops. That's all for this video. If you're interested to find out more about Stepan, do watch my videos on Stepan on my channel. And if you're interested to find out more about shoe minting, do check out this video. See you next time.